Today I'm going to teach you how you can create a panorama with Adobe Lightroom Classic. Basically what a panorama is, is a bunch of photos stitched together to create a larger photo and before you can stitch those photos in Lightroom you obviously have to take those photos. And the way you do this is very simple. You just take a photo, move your camera a bit, take another photo, move your camera a bit, take another photo, move your camera a bit and take another photo and so on and so forth. The only thing you need to keep in mind while taking the photos for your panorama is that there must be some overlapping with the photos so that Lightroom knows which parts of the photo to stitch together. So for example the right hand side of your first image must match the left hand side of the second image. You can take as many photos as you ever want to for your panorama and they don't all have to be horizontally next to each other, they can also be on top of each other if you want to. But once you have your photos taken it is time to jump into Lightroom. Creating a panorama in here is extremely easy, just select all of the photos that you have taken for your panorama, right click on the images, go to photo merge and select panorama. At this point Lightroom will do all of the hard work for you and stitch those photos together to create the panorama. After this Lightroom will open up a menu where you can choose a few settings. First of all you can select the way Lightroom creates the panorama. So there's spherical, cylindrical or perspective. Choosing the right one will depend on your image so just go through them and see which one works best for you. You can also try and change the boundary warp as this will change the distortion of the image and you might get a whole lot better results by tweaking this. So for me the best settings that I found for this image is the spherical projection with a boundary warp of 100. There's a few more settings to show you so I'm going to push my boundary warp back to zero to show you what all of these other settings do. So first of the auto crop will crop the image so that all of the white parts outside the actual image will be perfectly cropped. Out. And the auto crop is something that I would always keep checked so that you can be sure that there's no white parts out of your image that will show in the final results. Now if we deselect the auto crop for a moment and click on fill edges, this will use Lightroom's content aware fill to fill those white areas outside of your image but this might usually work pretty poorly as you can see in here as well. So personally I would much rather always use the auto crop instead of using the fill edges. Now the auto settings here will apply automatic exposure settings to your image and this is something I would never do because I want to tweak all of my exposure and contrast settings myself so I would just leave the auto settings unchecked always. Now the create stack option will create a stack of all of your original photos as well as the created panorama here in Lightroom so that you can keep things more organized. So I would always have the create stack selected. But now let's go back to uh, deselecting fill edges, pushing the boundary warp to 100 and making sure we have auto crop selected and then click on merge. And now we can see that we're creating the panorama and once Lightroom is done we now have this stack of six photos including the panorama as well as all of the original photos. Now to unstack or stack the photos you can click on this one of six or this number six up here to unstack and stack the photos back together. And to edit your newly created panorama just click on the panorama and go to develop and now you can do any edits that you would want to do to your image just like you would edit a normal photo as well. And that is it, it's really that simple to create a panorama in Lightroom Classic. If there's any questions, anything that you would like to know or anything that's unclear to you, just drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to help you out. But that is all I have for today, so thank you very much for watching and I hope I will see you in the next one. Shoo.